don't even know what that is. It's a fish of some sort. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to MC Outdoors. This is Matt. Uh, going out of Lynn Haven today. We're gonna go after some sheep's head. We're gonna go after maybe some flounder, puppy drum, speckled trout. With my buddy Jeff uh, from one of the previous videos. We went uh, turkey hunting and trout fishing. So yeah, let's get to the video. Well, <laughs> I think we'll keep. <laughs> no crab. Left. So the other thing we're doing out here is we've got uh, we got two big rods out. Uh, with some blue crab on the bottom. Just on a fish finder rig, hoping that maybe we can uh, get, get a bull red drum to hit. Got a circle hook there, 50 pound leader. Just put the claw on because I feel like we're probably going to be moving soon. Yeah, we got some sheep's head and some puppy drum and speckled trout to, to catch. Pyramid sinker and slider. Out here at the third hour. Citation oyster toad. Oh man. It's a well kept secret in the Chesapeake Bay that uh, best eating fish out here. <laughs> Hardest to catch too. You see I caught him on a live line setup with a four ounce weight. Drag was screaming. <laughs> it was a long fight, but we got him, man. Actually, I was just pulling up so we could move somewhere where we could catch some fish. So, uh, there we go. Circle hook got him right in the bottom of the lip, right where it's supposed to conservation. Second flounder of the day, but first keeper of the day right here. Thing like a flow of tree. Yep, right there by the end, by the outboard. Yeah. Put some pro cure on it or not? Nope. guys we're out here at the third island um, doing a little bit of flounder fishing we haven't had much luck with the uh, sheep's head really not much luck with the Spanish mackerel we caught one Spanish mackerel um, it's barely even size so uh, this is what I got out here it's like a half an ounce or a three-quarter ounce buck tail uh, with the white paddle tail I uh, got some pro cure on there and my buddy Jeff here has got this on his, he's caught a flounder himself. It's just undersized, though. Uh, about a half ounce or three quarter ounce with a uh, what's that called? Z Man, yeah, white Z Man. Z -Man. White paddle tail, you know? So we've only got one in the boat, but we've caught two. Uh, we're gonna keep on trying, and then we're gonna go back to the inlet uh, once it gets a little bit later and try some puppy drum and speckled trout. We'll see what we do there. Small hits on that chartreuse curly tail too. Oh yeah. 
but I just switched to that. Jeff has had a, a ton of hits on the uh, chartreuse gulp uh, curly tail, but must be a ton of small fish because it keeps on biting off the tails. It's important when you're out here fishing. <laughs> out here in the sun, you gotta stay cool. Get the water every once in a while. I didn't get we this on. <laughs> I didn't get this on camera because this guy just big, jumped just off. Big halibut down there. <laughs> good luck getting back on. Feels good. You forgot to say parkour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that does feel good. You're right. It is. It's it's like I feel like a new person when you come climb out of there. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch y'all on the next one.